Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about a show I watched um, over the weekend, Bank Holiday weekend, called Them, The Scare. So it's Them Season 2, The Scare, okay? And for those who don't know, Them is a show on Amazon Prime and it's like an anthology horror thriller type of show. So for those who watch American Horror Story, it's kind of like this. So every season, more or less, is a, is a different story um, with different characters, okay? So if you like American Horror Story, this is like the black version of American Horror Story, okay? Now, season one, I couldn't finish it. It was too much. Um, and the thing about this show is very influenced by race racism, okay? That is at the forefront in... <laughs> in both seasons in different ways but season one was just a bit too much to the point where it, it you know when something makes you uncomfortable that's how it was i couldn't finish watching it so i had to go on do you know when you google what happened on like shows and stuff or, or read a synopsis of every episode because it was just it was too much okay and i would say you don't need to necessarily watch season one to watch season two but there are some links um to season one so this is not gonna be no not really not that much that many spoilers but i might say something so please if you don't want any spoilers like don't watch this video anymore. so i'm a scaredy cat i don't really watch horror even though i do like american horror story but i i love american horror story because of the acting um i think some of the actors that have been on there have been amazing the storyline is always complex and stuff like i just think it's a good show so I, my sister was like, oh, no, like, it was good. Watch it. So I, I decided to watch it. And I watched it in one day. Um, I literally started in the morning and I finished it by the evening. Very easy watch. I mean, easy in the terms of the time it takes to watch. But in terms of watching it, it's very scary. And I'm a scaredy cat. However, I enjoyed it, okay? So both seasons are based in Compton. I think season one is, like, in the late 50s or early 60s. So pre... pre um desegregation and this is early 90s um i believe yeah like rodney king i think rodney king happened in like 92 or something so it's early 90s and it's based in compton and i was wondering how these two characters um deborah ayorinde she plays a lady called dawn and luke james plays a man called edmund reigns Gaines, edmund Gaines, and Honestly, both of them did amazing, but I'm going to talk about Luke for a second. Now, I've seen Luke Jane act in um, um, Star. He was in Star. He was in... Um, he played Johnny Gill in the New Edition story. Really good. Um, but this show, absolutely amazing. Like, you know, some people... You know, I'm a bit sceptical of when, like, people that sing or, or you know other talents come into acting because sometimes they can't act i was gonna say someone's name but i'm not gonna cough cough me a culpa however this show was was so good anyway but luke james's performance was absolutely chilling like to the point where i'm thinking luke is this what you you're giving in real life because you played it amazingly i could i could liken it to Heath Ledger playing the Joker. Obviously, it's a different type of film, different thing. But I'm I'm saying it was that believable. It was like he embodied the character he played, the Edmund, and it was such a complex story as well. You know, like in a way, as much as he um the character is very menacing, he's also you know you you understand why he's like the way he is. Like you feel sorry for him in a way, but guys and and you know what the way they they intertwine season one as well because i didn't watch season one um like properly you know i had to kind of see okay i understood i understood how it linked to it but you know i don't think you have to watch season one so you can just watch part of season one to understand the significance in season two and yeah, i want to see luke james in more things um 100 i want him to try different characters obviously he's played like the love interest he's played 
um you know he's played johnny gill so he can do characterization you know and I've, and you know we've seen him here and there and obviously he's an amazing singer so obviously where he can show his his singing but this one he weren't singing in this one he weren't he weren't singing in this show so guys if you haven't watched already please 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 watch them the scare season two on amazon prime oh my goodness i almost forgot pam Greer, legendary foxy um is it foxy cleopatra was that or am i thinking of beyonce well pam Greer, legendary um black actress is in it she plays um deborah or dawn's mum in the show um and the show is about generational curses as well how we pass on trauma um from generation to generation 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 to generation without really sorting it out so that's also a big big obviously racism is there but generational curses is also there um the police obviously because it was about rodney king well is in the rodney, rodney king area and um deborah plays dawn who's a police a, a police sergeant i believe um or police something detective sorry detective yeah um so it's about the police as well and obviously racism in the police and uh, you know it's a lot going on guys a lot going on please watch them i know i've said this before but i had to come and say it again watch them on amazon 